happy about that. But before we close today, I would like to invite one final special guest to come up and share a few thoughts with you. I'd like to invite Eric Lieberman to come and join us on the stage. Just an honor to have him here with us today. Thank you, Janice. Uh, as Janice just said, my name is Eric Lieberman. I have uh, been with JetBlue for nine and a half years. Uh, first off, I just want to congratulate all of our graduates on a job well done and making it through what I know has uh, been a stressful three weeks for you guys. Uh, but the good news, it's over, and uh, exactly. And, uh, and now the fun begins. And, uh, and when I say fun, I truly mean this is the most fun job you could possibly find. Um, if anyone ever comes to you and says the greatest perks, the greatest benefits of this job is the free flights or the flexible schedule, um, they're somewhat right because those, those are amazing benefits, but they're not, they're not the greatest. And the greatest benefits, the greatest perk of this job is um, the experiences, the friendships, and the memories that you'll make while you're here. Uh, when I think of that stuff, when I think of the, uh, the memories that I've made while I was here, I can't help but think of the, the greatest memory that I made, which was the, uh, the day that I met my girlfriend while I was on layover in Burbank. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I picked up a trip last minute. You know, it was an easy trip. I was going to deadhead out to Burbank. I was going to spend the day, have some lunch, work the red-eye flight back that night. So, uh... The two crew members that were two of the crew members that were working the flight that I was uh, I was deadheading on were two friends of mine, and uh, we get to the hotel and I go down to lunch with them. We're sitting at the hotel bar just having lunch, having a great time, catching up, and in walks this beautiful blonde. She's down at the end of the bar, and uh, I couldn't couldn't take my eyes off her the second she walked in. One of the flight attendants who was with me, he noticed it. He goes, Eric, she's gorgeous. You gotta go talk to her. I'm like, Tad, I'm not here to pick up women. I just want to have lunch, you know, all in a day. He goes, Eric, seriously, Tad, please. It's not. Next thing I know, Tad's going, excuse me, excuse me. I'm like, hey, no, no, please don't do that, please. He goes, I hate to bother you. He goes, but are you, are you single by any chance? And she goes, yeah, yeah, I am. He goes, perfect. He goes, because my friend thinks you're adorable and would love to buy you a drink. So she comes over and uh, we start talking and we just we hit it off right away. I mean, just an amazing girl, sweet, down to earth. Uh, visiting LA from a place called Joplin, Missouri, which I had never heard of in my life. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we exchanged numbers thinking nothing of it because she lived in Missouri and I lived in Brooklyn. But the whole flight home, I just like, couldn't stop thinking about this girl. I mean, just absolutely amazing. So when I got home to New York, I, I racked my brain on ways that I can, I can uh, start conversation with her by text. And we would text back and forth for two weeks and finally I was like, you know what, I've got to see you again. So I hopped on a flight to Kansas City, Missouri. I rented a car and I drove three hours to Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> Talk about dedication. Huh? The whole time thinking to myself, what the heck am I doing right now? I met this girl once, she could be the biggest psychopath, I have no idea. But I take her out for coffee, I spent the weekend, I got a hotel, spent the weekend, and after that, every chance I can get, I would go out to Joplin, Missouri, just to spend a couple of days with her. She moved to New York about a year ago. Um, we moved in together, and uh, she was working for uh, Verizon. And uh, I was here, and every day I'd come home and I'd have great stories, and I would tell her all these amazing things about JetBlue, and uh, she would tell me how miserable her job was and how much she hated it. <laughs> so I said, well, babe, we're hiring right now. Why don't you come, come to JetBlue? So uh, here she is today. She's, uh, she's graduated. Jennifer Ducart, I, uh, I love you unconditionally. I've had so many amazing moments in my life, but the moment I met you was the greatest one. You were so perfect to me in every possible way, and I want to love you for the rest of my life.
she's extremely shy and she will probably kill me as soon as we get off the stage. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations to all you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.